Hi everyone, this is Sophia Guo, and this is my fifteen one twelve term project.、Um, I'm making a checker game using Python and Pygame, and also use artificial intelligence to making a game. So now let's run this. So you're going to Beijing for a Chinese checker competition, and if you've never played it before, I have a help screen for you. So there's a lot of variation of the of the game, and the rules are using here is pretty simple. So for every checker, you can move it in any、uh, direction for one、uh, one step, or you can jump over other checkers. So for instance, for this checker, I can jump over this checker and place it here or here. And a single move can also consist of multiple hops, as long as they're as adjacent to each other. And at first, all your checkers will be placed in this lower triangle, and your final goal is to move all the checkers to that upper triangle. And、um, whoever just、um, to move all the checkers to the opposite triangle will win the game. And also have a dual players mode. Um, if you have a player,、uh, you have a friend who wanna play Chinese chess checker with you, you guys can、uh, play using this mode, and, <clears throat> and I will get to it later. Now let's go to the adventure mode. So you get lost、um, in Beijing. So you wanna go through a maze, and you wanna first collect a key along the way. Second, collect as many coins as you can, cause they are very useful in the in the competition. And also,、um, you have fifty seconds to go through the maze. If you cannot make it, you will have to go from the beginning again. So now let's go.、Um, on the right、uh, side of the screen, you can see the time and the coins you have. Now you can see the coin.、Uh, the the key is here. I wanna click it. Oh, also, like、um, you will normally have like zero coins at the beginning.、Um, each time you win a game, you will earn coins. Now I will pretend I have win a lot of games,、uh, so that I can show you the features I have in this game. Okay, congratulations, you made it. Now we are going to the competition. So you see, there's four levels of competition. If you're gonna go to a newcomer one, you Uh, you can just go whenever you want, but if you want to go to upper level, you you will have to pay for it. So now, as I have a lot of coins, I just want to go to gold. So computer have already made the first move. Now it's my turn. Now you see this is the road that comp、um, the computer take. You uh, uh, it will show you the road and show you why it is a valid move. Now I will I can make the move. So I select this checker. So the valid move for me now,、uh, for now, is this one, that one, and that one. So、uh, the computer will allow me to place my checker here, and will also tell me why it is a valid move. So let's say I want to place the checker here, which is、uh, clearly not a valid move. So I click on the screen, and nothing happens. So I place it here, and the computer makes the next move. Click say here, it also will makes the next move. Um, let's say now I want to seek help from a computer. So if I click on this, I will use ten coins, and the computer will make a move, the best move for me. So this is the move, and the computer will also make its own that next move. And this is my level. Let's go here.、Um, let's say that if you forget about the rules, you can just go to the help screen, and then go back to the game. So let's say、um, I think I'm now good, doing a really good job. I can restart again. Also, if I want to change the difficulty, I can change it. So let's say、um, I want to go to a newcomer level, which is if you are not, you know, if not familiar with the game, you can start from the newcomer one. So I can. You see that in the newcomer, the computer is now doing a really good job because. It, it knows I'm a newcomer. So what? So now what the program does is that it will analyze how well I do in this game, and it will also make its next move according to how well I do. So let's say a person, person A and person B are also、uh, playing a newcomer level, but they are at different levels. If、uh, A is better than player B, then a comp when a computer is playing against player A, it will also do a better job. 
Okay, now let's have a look at the dual players mode. So, um, so I'm playing with my friend. Now I'm making the first move. Let's say I want to cheat in this game. I want to make another move. So I click on that and I click on the screen, and nothing happens because I cannot do that now. It's my friend's turn. So you guys just can just play with each other and have fun. So that is my uh, turn project. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy it.